Hello everyone, welcome back to the Best Bow Studios. Xander here today, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through how we have gone up nearly 10,000 subscribers in under two weeks. Let's get right into it, everyone. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to head right over to videos first and show you guys. So, look at this. All of our recent videos have gotten over, up until the fan mail uh, foil play button. That's one, two, three, four, five, six in a row that all got over a thousand views. And this is a quite an uptick on what we used to get, more like around a hundred views a video. Especially this run be like getting 17,000. So, you're probably wondering, how did our, how did, how did, how could something like this happen? How could we suddenly become this popular of YouTubers? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you probably some of you guys know, um, or most of you guys know, this the Run Got Me Like video hit 2.4 million views and is the most popular video on the channel, as well as the Agoti Got Me Like hitting 129,000. And a lot of these, look at all these. Last I checked, we had um, 23 the videos that had over a thousand views, which is double what it was two weeks ago, which is really crazy. We have quite a few more that are getting up there, like eight in the 800 and 700 view range, and we'll probably be getting there soon. And if we go to live stream, you can see our live streams, 658, 989, 496, 410. Those are really up there as well. Because, um, so, now, I, I'm going to show you guys some math in just a minute to explain how, while going up 10,000 subscribers is a lot, that is a lot of subscribers, especially when we started at under, under 1,000, now we're at over 10,000, we're... Probably pretty soon, maybe tomorrow, we'll have hit about um, 10,000 subscribers uh, in the last month gained. Um, it's actually right right about on track with what it should be. I want to show you analytics real quick as well. So as you can see, um, we went down a little bit yesterday after we did actually, early yesterday, I did not see this yesterday. So I know early on yesterday, we hit our highest for views, as you can see there, there's the highest point, and our highest point for watch hours. Now we are going to be able to get monetized soon as well, so thank you so much, because as you can see, 37,000 way, 37,000 watch hours, which well surpasses the 4,000 hours watch hours required to, um, to get monetized. Here's the subscribers in total. Um, so we'll just go lifetime, 10,176. We've already gone up like another four, 400 or something today, at least. Um, real time, 433,000 uh, views in the last 48 hours, which is pretty crazy as well. So yeah, this is all really crazy. And you're probably wondering how, like how, how could this have happened? Because let's go back a little while. Let's do last 90 days. Look at that, that's absolutely flat. Now we were, I don't know what happened in June and July, it just didn't do super well. But here is like, it's a noticeable spike. We have really shot up. Now yesterday, I don't, I don't really know what happened, it just all of a sudden really plummeted after starting off the day strong. And as I expected, probably the run got me like, it's, it was posted exactly a month ago today. So I figured probably it would start to calm down a little bit. But um around the time I hit a month so but I don't think it's ever really gonna go away I think we will never get back down to the flat level as you can see here here's the subscribers in the last 90 days very flat as you can see there and then a, a huge uptick and the watch hours in the last 365 days very flat as well until the huge uptick so um so you guys probably think okay the run got me like a really popular I, I guess I could see it but um some of you probably also think well I, I think they might be botting views and then and then getting videos into people's suggestions and getting more subs from there or maybe they're botting subscribers I know a few uh, skeptical people have thought that and probably a, a lot more I've thought that have talked about it at our streams as a joke because this honestly is really unnatural and we're kind of we're going up more rapidly than like some hundred thousand subscriber YouTube channel maybe a million subscriber YouTube channels go up and while this isn't going to last forever having even a little bit it'll YouTube, you go up and down, so we'll, there'll be other spikes like this in our career, and um, and it, it really, it can happen at any time, you never know, but I usually have a pretty good idea of when a video is going to get popular versus when it's just a video that's just for the fans of our channel, so I'll talk to, about you guys more about that later, but now um, I'm going to be finished looking at the YouTube analytics now. 
Alright, so here we are at the calculator side of things, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Run Got Me Like video to our second most popular and formerly most popular video on the channel, Escaping the Warrior Operation, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen as well. So, the Warrior Operation got 200,000 views, and we're going to call maybe 500 subs have been generated from that video. Run Got Me Like got, um, we'll call it 2,500,000 views and 10,000. Um, subs have been generated from that video. Now these are just, these are a little bit high. This is just for, um, they're just for the simulation I'm going to run. And, um, so we're going to see how it adds up. It's not, it's not exact numbers, but just, just for the sake of this, we're going to give it, see how this is. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump into things. So we'll start with the wire operation. So we've got 200,000, 200,000 views divided by 500. So that means one in 400 viewers will subscribe to the channel because 200,000 divided by 500 equals 400. So that that's not like super great odds, but one out of 400 people, one out of 400 views generated a sub, and at its peak time that went up pretty rapidly, and I could definitely see that happening. So let's um, clear that. Now we're going to do the 2,500,000. Alright, so there it is, guys. And now let's divide that by 10,000. You're going to see 250. So this is a little bit better odds. One in 250 people will subscribe to the channel after clicking on the Run Got Me Like video. Now, why is that? Why is this a little bit better? Well, it's probably because we have other content that relates to Friday Night Funkin' and all sorts of, I, we've, we're making better content than we were when it was just me on the channel um, over a year ago. I was just like making random like Roblox videos, no editing, no thought, and I'm, I'm gonna admit they were, they were complete junk. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna admit it, but, um, now we're making really well edited, we're doing live streams, we're doing, making well edited videos. Um, it's, so, and we also have lots of other things surrounding Friday Night Funking, and it is also the War Apparition video. It was, in a way, kind of a scam, because, um, I didn't actually escape the War Apparition, I escaped it in Roblox, and it was a joke video that I thought it up when I figured that, my couple other wire Prison videos I posted, they did pretty pop, they got pretty popular. There's a chance this one could get popular as well. And most people took it as a joke. They still liked it as like a thousand likes and only around a hundred dislikes. So it's, that's definitely not great odds, but compared to some other wire Prison videos that weren't actually escaping the wire Prison, those are very reasonable odds. And then, but the run got me like, and the other thing about this, it's not just a 12 second video of me just doing or playing a random Roblox game. It is a, while it's not like super crazy editing or anything, the video f fits very well together. The run um, song fits very well with the um, with the alarm from the abandoned building. So, I, I'm and I think that that's like very reasonable. One in two hundred fifty views will generate a subscriber, and I think that's uh, very feasible. Um, so as you can see, because that that takes quite a few. And definitely not everyone who clicks a video is going to subscribe, they're just going to watch. But some people will go and look at my other videos and they'll see, my, me and Ethan's other videos, and they'll see, oh, this channel, they make they make good content. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll hook these guys up with a subscribe. And then, um, so that's basically just how it's happened. And if you guys would like to know, um, I'm going to head back over to the YouTube Analytics one more time and explain to you how I knew this Run Got Me Like video was going to become our most popular video on our channel. Okay, so here we are back at the YouTube Studio dashboard, and so I'm going to explain to you how I knew that the Run Got Me Like video was going to get over a million views and was going to become the most popular video on our channel. So, this is kind of what I did with Warrior Operation. I had a gut feeling and I, 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 I knew that something big was going to happen with this video. I knew I had to make a Got Me Like, I hadn't made any Got Me Likes before, and Run was getting up into its peak, and I, I, I don't know how, but I knew that this was gonna get well cycled through the YouTube recommendations. Um, our friend Zuku, he's told us many, that he's gotten it recommended many, many times, 
And so probably lots of people are reviewing the video and watching it again because they liked it or um, they just want to see it again. They forgot like what, what exactly happened in it. They want to know more about it, that sort of thing. And I knew that run was getting right in its peak. That's what I did with the War Operation. I struck when it was at its peak. So that's what you guys have to do. Um, sometimes you have to kind of jump on a trend to get the, that kind of revenues and then you, other people come like our live streams take for instance which is completely unique I don't see I haven't ever seen any other Roblox YouTuber record their iPads and have multiple people playing at the same time with the fun little background and stuff and I think that's why most of you like to watch our streams you guys are very unique you're very unique viewers and stuff you like channels with personality and that's what we try to give our channel lots of personality and so um, I but then I thought you know what, this this is a fun video. That The video I used is actually one of, if not my favorite YouTube video, which makes it even more special to me. So it wasn't just like a view grind, but um, I figured that like, okay, this this will be a cool video. I know, I know the people on our channel like this, and I think this has a really good chance of becoming one of the most popular, if not the most popular video on our channel. And I had a gut feeling it was gonna hit one million views, especially when I posted this video, we went on a one night stay somewhere. And when we came back, it was at like 300, 400 views and it had like seven comments and there were already like new people who had commented. Or maybe it was like, actually, no, it was 17. And yeah, and there were already like new people who had commented who'd never found our channel before. And I was like, okay, I know where this is going because this is what the War Apparition did. It did it um, like overnight, it literally. And I didn't even know it until we got back late and on that next day. Um, so... But yeah, so that that was when I knew like officially. I figured when I uploaded it that this would that it would do pretty well. But once I saw that, I was like, okay, I know where this is going. This is going to become popular. This is getting well over the, quite a few thousand, maybe even going to pass the escaping door apparition. And then it really shot up, and now it's coming back down a little bit. Again, it won't last forever, but I, it will never go away either. It's once a video gets a million views, it's going to stay. It's going to keep circulating. I'll, we'll keep getting subs and new people from it because there's just so many people on YouTube even though already 2.4 million people have viewed it probably people have viewed it twice maybe we'll call about a million people have viewed it but we're gonna um, we're gonna see like how that this should hopefully main uh, uh, keep it keep us like keep a mainstream of subs just like flowing in a few subs every hour from this video and probably from some of our other videos that as you can see are getting pretty popular as well who knows what a goatee got me likes can do maybe that thing will blow up soon and we'll get another million views or something from that so um it's really going to be interesting to see what happens from here i'm sorry guys it's a really long video but i hope you enjoyed me unpacking how to basically get 10,000 subscribers you should try to follow this trend make something that kind of follows a current trend that's your own spin off a current trend and then people will stay because they'll see all your other content is really unique and they'll stay subscribed and they won't become dead subs as they say we're like now I know there probably are going to be quite a few dead subs from this they're like subs who only watch one video on your channel they subscribe never come back for anything else so but that's why like we have 10,000 subscribers our live streams don't yield 10,000 viewers cuz that's just that's absolutely impossible but i hope you guys enjoyed this video today I'll see you all again in the next video very soon. Hope you guys had a good start to your week. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.